What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Tropico where we actually have dwindling numbers right now I'm actually seeing our approval rating drop. I mean dropping from a 91 to an 83 isn't that bad Let's take a look at some of these quests Great time to be a diplomat Everyone is running left and right trying to get allies for the great war Banquets and lavish gifts are becoming part of my daily routine. I prefer that all of my gifts be lavish <laughs> And so it looks like if we build an embassy and invite a foreign power, we get 20 relations. So we can actually fix our damage with the allies right now and still maintain our profits by exporting to the Axis if we wanted to. We can play a little bit of one toe on one side of the line and a foot on the other if we can get away with it. I'm going to accept Mr. that President, one. President, according to my calculations, the tropical economy will reach the point of collapse unless you provide more opportunities for the rich to become richer. They want a lighthouse. Okay, well, we can build a lighthouse. It's not something that I was planning on building, but since we've got so much excess cash right now, I do feel like we've got a lot of stuff to take care of. So, I mean, we can pay for all kinds of things. And isn't that what you're really kind of, kind of aiming for in this game? Hold on, I need... I don't need that. I need this. We have 35 homeless people. The shacks. Okay, so we have a lot of illiterate people just kind of hanging out in shacks. That's not okay. So I think what I'm going to do is we'll get started. Is that logging camp actually still logging? What, pray tell, are they logging? There doesn't appear... There's this one tree right here, so unless it's a magical tree of endless wood, I don't think it's going to help out that much. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and pop in a few more houses down here. So that people can be a little bit happier about their living situation. What's going on over here? We'll go like so, just to keep everything square. And right-clicking, we'll go to our residential menu one more time. We'll go with country houses, because it seems like the mansions aren't really getting used quite as much by people. I could probably make this a bit more efficient. Let me cancel the construction. And I believe that I could... I'm trying to figure out the best way where I can get the most houses out of this now. I think doing them vertically is actually going to turn out better for us. I can't promise that, but I think it will. And so we'll just add roads in between each one. And while I don't think this is going to be the best way for us to do this, it's a little bit better than the previous way, I think. And then we can put something in that little slot over there, like a garden or something to make people happy. I don't know. Something to take their minds off the fact that they're living on the edge of town right now. We also wasted a bunch of space in the center right there. I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm a little bit disgusted and disappointed with myself right now. Let's also go through and assign managers to all of our important industrial buildings. So over here with the rum distillery, let's hire somebody to take care of it. We've got a supervisor, makes the effectiveness a little bit higher. We've got somebody that can steal money for us and put it into our Swiss bank account. Which upgrades our Tropic and Leader, is what you guys are telling me down in the comments of the previous videos. And so that might be something worth looking into. We can go with Landlord, not going to help out over here. We can do Inventor, which is a little bit interesting. Produces some extra RP if we needed it. I think I'll go with a Foreman. Effectiveness increased and job quality reduced. Oh, never mind. I thought that increased both by 10. I was like, well, it's kind of a no-brainer. We should probably just do that, right? Environmentalist reduces pollution in the vicinity. I'll probably save that for later. The mining and oil buildings. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go with a foreman then. So there's the foreman. Job quality went down slightly, but simultaneously our quality should go up a little bit higher. So that'll work out, I guess. I mean, it's not my problem. I'm the leader, so nothing bad can happen from all this on me. It just kind of comes down on the workers. Other industrial buildings. I think our textile mill is over here. Let's drop a manager on in. And I think this is probably a really good spot for us to drop the environmentalist. So we'll do that. We've got a lot of buildings around here, so this will probably lower the pollution a little bit. With our cannery, we can add a manager. And I think I'm going to go through and we will add effectiveness on maximum. We'll go with the tycoon right here. Oop, that's not what I wanted. I've clicked the wrong thing. And now I've been thrown across town, unfortunately, and it hurt like hell when I landed, too. Whoever threw me had quite the quite the arm. We'll go with the, with the tycoon, I guess. We'll hire him. With... Our other industrial buildings. Not going to mess around with the churches right now. The Opera House I don't think needs anything at the moment. We can go with the bank. is already fine. Let's go ahead and invite the allies using our embassy. And that'll help us... 
So they're still warm with us. It's not so bad. I mean, they're not frigid at the moment. And so that leaves us with a little bit of leeway in the hopes that they won't come at us with projectile firing sticks o doom. Let's get the game running one more time. Well, old chap, those Axis fellows give me the heebie-jeebies. I'm afraid this also means I will have to consort with those even snobbier than I. Yet such is the fate of any good diplomat. I'm going to go with a... I think the 10% increase on exports will probably make us the most money. So we'll go with that. The two free buildings, is, it's tempting. It's very, very tempting, but I'm going to stay away from it for now. I'm also going to start throwing random houses in over here. Just to take a little bit of the stress off of our homeless people. And I also need infrastructure. Let's go ahead and put parking lots out here to help people get to work a little bit faster so that they aren't having to hoof it all the time because that sucks. Well, having to walk long distances, I used to have to walk like five or six miles every single day to and from a certain location. It was weak. It was super saddening. Then again, it was a good chance to catch up on your Pandora listening too, although they definitely got me on that recurring subscription thing, which doesn't remove the ads for some weird reason. I guess we'll throw in a couple of houses over here. We'll, oh, they'll fit right there too. Well, damn, if it fits, let's drop it on in. And then we'll drop a road over here because it'll get rid of this shack. Oh, it won't get rid of the shack. Damn you, shack. How dare you? How dare you? And there we go. Our logging camp has finally been collapsed, kind of. Maybe. Well, they are reforesting. I could place this in a better location, though, like up here. We'll wait until they collapse it. It'll work out in our favor. I can virtually guarantee you it might work out in our favor. <laughs> Did I sound confident when I said that? I don't know. We'll drop a few more country houses out here. Tenement buildings would probably be the better investment at a certain point, but I'm not so sure about the degradation mechanic. It says that their housing quality just goes down over time no matter what you do, and that makes me very, very afraid to deploy them in any sort of mass. I'd rather just kind of house people one by one. Now that we've got that done, what can we drop in over here? Well, let's go through some of our menus. We'll drop a tavern in over here to help people stay happy, give them a little bit of extra entertainment. We'll also consider luxury entertainment. We don't really have anything for that right now, but we could deploy like cabarets and things like that over in our inner city area where all the entertainment's gonna be at anyways. Drop a cabaret over. Did I drop the cabaret, cabaret backwards? If I dropped it backwards, I'll just put a road over here and the church will have to be Happy looking at the ass end of a cabaret all day. I'm sure they'll be fine with it. How many entertainment buildings do I actually have right now? Let's take a look at the people. We've got a bunch of homeless still, but the buildings should be done very, very shortly. That'll get rid of that. With regards, they want more food. They want more health care. They want more housing. Everything else is looking pretty good, though. Entertainment's pretty bad. So we want to focus on entertainment. We want to focus on health care. The deployment of a hospital probably is not a terrible idea. Can we even do that yet, or we still have to sit with those unlocking the Cold War? Okay, well, we can go with a clinic here and there to make things a little bit easier on people. Drop a clinic right there. I'll probably drop a clinic over here as well. There we go, so that we can get all of those bumps, hooks, knobs, cysts, and other nasty growths looked at. Those two aren't going to increase our approval by that much, but it's something. It's a little bit extra on the top to make people happier. Police stations, we could use a police station elsewhere. It might be worth it to bulldoze some houses over here and drop in a police station. But I'm a little bit scared to do that just because I don't know how it's going to go down when I do do that. I don't want to say do-do too vicariously, but, you know, we'll throw it out there. We got the town of Cityville. I don't even know what that means. It probably just means that our city's growing and we're being successful. There it is. We've jumped up 2% again. Let's see how that actually affected us, though, because I'm willing to bet it probably didn't help out that much. Healthcare only went up slightly. Then again, they're not being done. I bet that was probably from housing. Maybe? I don't know. Let's go ahead and we'll increase the budget on all these houses. We can start electrifying them. That's one huge way, President Day. And it's coming straight for us. Okay, so we're about to get hit by a tsunami, which means we're going to have to do a little bit of the old hunt and peck to find the buildings that have been kissed by the waves. Yeah, that's a hell of a thing. We're alive, 
Presidente. I didn't think we were going to survive that humongous wave. So it looks like we lost 13 buildings and they gave us 10 grand in return. Where are you going? The big wave is this way. Surf's up. God, that girl is such an idiot. And we're going to have to rebuild all of these, which is going to take forever. Ooh, we lost money on that one. It's okay because we're independently wealthy at the moment, but it always sucks when you get these nasty little disasters that set you back a little bit. I don't know what this even means. Oh, the building is flooded and will not work. Okay, well, let's pump it out. Go ahead and help our citizens get back on their feet, and I think that was everything. Let's get the game back up and running. And given our... Yeah, we are we're making money right now, which is very, very nice. I think what I'll do now is let's start expanding this area as another kind of entrance to this place over here. Housing is still a little bit off, but what I would wanted to do was go through, and I should do this in between episodes, but I have to go through and electrify all these, and I really do wish that they had come up with a better plan, like you could electrify all to make the housing quality go up. It consumes a little bit of our electricity, but I'm not afraid of dropping another power plant if I have to. I'll drop one really, really fast if I need to. We could also upgrade these to normal houses, but that's going to cost us a lot of money. Maybe later on, once we've reached a point where that plan is not going to bankrupt us. But right now, if we try for that, it's going to make us very, very broke. So I wish that I could do the same thing here, because electrifying all houses seems like a really, really great way to get housing quality up. And so a housing quality of 50 is much better than a housing quality of 40. That tends to make people a lot happier. So let me go through, and we'll just kind of do this little residential block, and in between this episode and the next one, I'll make sure that I do this all on my own. What upgrades do we have available for our clinics, by the way? And also, have I done all of these? Okay, it looks like our farms are doing okay. I haven't missed anything there. These houses, not electrified yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Should probably start deploying a lot more regular houses as well. What do you have to do? You have to be rich to live there, and you have to be well off to live there. Okay, so we're not yet at the point where, oh, our clinics aren't functioning at... Let's do obstetrics. We'll also do a hospitalization wing so that we can end up with more visitors. That'll also help our healthcare out by quite a bit. That might be the bottleneck that we're facing. I know that at the moment there's something going on. Felicidad Benedict is a filthy rich crime lord who is the leader of a faction, I believe. And so, what faction is this guy part of? He's religious. Not going to fiddle with that too much. They do start to show up a lot later on. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. The personal death squad replaces the elite infantry palace with commandos. Hell yeah! I want a personal death squad. Who would say no to that? If somebody walked up to you tomorrow on the street and they were like, Listen, for $4,500, we know that you're worth $150,000. If you would c were to spend $5,000 tomorrow, you would have your own personal death squad. Alright, and so anyways, if you could have your own personal death squad, I'm feeling like that would pre be pretty high up on the list for me personally. I'd be like, hell yeah, do I want a bunch of guys with guns that follow me around and just like, beat the hell out of anybody that makes me upset. Why not? What? <laughs> Why? You never know. People could come after you. Like, things could happen. Maybe I'm just being paranoid, but I'd rather have a death squad and not need it than to need a death squad and not have one. It looks like it's getting more difficult for us to keep our approval rating up. It looks like we've got a major dip in our... The only thing that's dipping right now is crime safety. And so I'm thinking that might be what's causing us problems. Every other thing is either slightly going downwards... It's a pretty big dip in religious happiness, though, so we may try and do something there. But before we could do that, we need to come up with, like, another suburb for us to build into. And so I'll do a road right there. We'll also take a road and have it run this way. And a further road, which will then run up to there. And I've been, I haven't been doing a very good job at making sure that I've been planning the city out while we've been playing. So I think that's the next part that I really need to kind of adapt myself to. Go ahead and put in another road right there. No. Stupid rock is still causing me problems. There we go. So now that that's been placed, 
this over here could probably be developed for something useful versus just sitting around like it is now. Have a house run to there. And then in taking this road back. Maybe run another one up to there. And just get ready. Just get ready for it. That's basically all that I'm trying to do right now. Is I'm trying to make ready for the future. Because it looks like our approval numbers are dropping off. And so I want to fix that as rapidly as possible. So what we need to do right now. Is we need to decide where our next residential area is. I think I'm going to build the city all around the edges. And inland is largely going to be surrounded around agriculture and industry. And I guess I haven't upgraded all of these yet. Maybe I should do that. Let's upgrade these so that they're making me more money. Because... If there's one thing you need in Tropico, it's always more money. Okay, so that's good. We're exporting. We're still making money. We're not as profitable profitable, profitable as I would want to be. We're still doing okay. And over here, I think, is where I'm going to develop next. So let's get started. God, I don't know. I just don't know. Let me look at what the buildings are that I can build. We obviously could probably use a clinic up in here to make sure that these people are looked after, so we'll drop one of those right there. Okay, and so the logging camp has finally gotten itself out of our way, and that means that it's time to build another one. Hopefully this one can keep itself afloat. We're going to put in a logging camp right here. And then we're going to go ahead and upgrade it. The second that it finishes its construction, we're going to upgrade it so that it has the reforesting upgrade and hopefully it won't go through all of its logs like the other one did we've got crops coming in right here crops coming in right there oh my god there's so much money which leads me to believe that it is time to maybe start developing a little bit further I know I've been saying that but I don't really know where to start I guess we'll start over here so let's go ahead and put in a little bit of a living situation on this side we'll start with houses and so the houses that I'm gonna build are gonna be just normal houses I think that works out. They aren't going to have much front yard space, but that's what happens when you move to Tropico. Drop those right there. We'll also put in a couple of country houses for good measure, just in case there's people that are below the poverty line that can't afford to live in the neighborhood. So we'll put those over here. Give ourselves one little line of space, since we can't build over there anyways. And then we'll put in a road. There we go. That road won't go through, unfortunately. We already have a garage right there, but I'm going to put another one in on this side. We're just going to do very, very rapid expansion right now. And so there's our next parking lot. We'll put it next to the construction yard. We'll also consider dropping a Teamsters Union in over here since we're... Oh, never mind. There's already a garage over here. Good. And so let's let that construct for a moment. We'll go through and we'll do all of the applicable upgrades to this area. While we wait, we'll also put in some new farms. So on the raw resources menu, what can I build? I would love to do cocoa. In all seriousness, you don't really have to pay attention to the overlay gl like grid. You can plant things wherever you want, and then later on with industrialization, you can make up for it. But as it stands right now, we don't have any farms that are producing corn. And so I think I'll do two of those. So there's two corn farms. At which point we'll go for a bit more coffee, maybe? So there we are. Just keep our farming going. We don't really have anything else to do. We might want to consider putting in a Teamsters Union once all these buildings are completed. So that we can get even more transfers done. They're going to be the guys that are hauling stuff around with their bare hands, getting all the calluses. While I stand in the background and give orders. As far as edicts go, I'm probably going to go with extra rations. And then we'll also go with building permit so we'll issue the building permit which is going to allow us to skim off the top and it'll be added to our swiss bank account and then we'll also go extra rations to make people a little bit happier actually close that down can i do something else right now we could do a disaster relief fund no let's go for extra rations we'll we'll issue that right there and that should be the two edicts i don't know how long it takes for those to drop Oh, they want urban development and industrialization, too. Okay. I thought it was just any. I don't even think we have industrialization right now. 
Oh, there's other ones. Oh my god, there's so many tabs right here. I'm an idiot. I guess we'll go with... God, there's so many right here. I think that we should go with... We'll go with Social Security. Because that'll make people who are unemployed happier. And right now, those are the only people in our society who really have, like, nothing going for them. I'm not going to issue too many of these at a time. If there's a free... We're not going to do Prohibition, no. Amnesty, no, we're not good with that. Literacy program. Yeah, we'll go with a literacy program as well. And then we'll leave the edicts where they are right now. Because these do have an upkeep. Over time, these are going to cost us money. And so I want to make sure that I'm not bankrupting myself before I go any further. We're going to wait for all these to get done. In the meantime, we'll kind of talk about our plans for the future. So we're just going to develop in this direction over here. Hopefully we'll go around, mostly along the side right here. I'll probably put in some schools. Whenever you build a residential area, you probably want to put in a police department. So we'll go for another one of those in just a moment. Once we have another police department, we'll put in another Teamsters Union. Try and leave this forest alone as best as we can. It may be poorly placed, but we're, we're doing the best with what we have right now. Once all these have been constructed, we'll go ahead and increase these up to be well off for everybody. There they go, packed like sardines. I'll go through in between episodes as well and electrify all of these to make sure that they've got lights and TVs and big screens and all that fun stuff. No, it's 1929. Not going to be an option. I am sorry, but we didn't discover anything. For a small raise, maybe something will come up in our notes. Nothing big. 20% and I will tell you our amazing techniques for begging for bribes. For an additional 5%, we will also make up a handbook that can be given to highly trained professionals who can then use these skills on foreigners. Okay, so we've got the customs office. I can only guess that that's going to allow us to embezzle even more money. How's my Swiss bank account doing right now? Am I even doing anything with my Swiss bank account? Where is that at? Dynasty. There we go. Our Swiss bank account has $14,000. That is not nearly enough to make me happy. I should probably put Camilla Del Splatter as the manager over here. Where is she? She is a... Hold on, let me pause the game so I'm not wasting my time right now. She does a thing. I think I can actually... Where is she? Camilla Del Splatter. We'll go back over to here to our dynasty. We'll say go to. Well, I mean, El Presidente is who has it locked down, but you can believe whatever you want. I don't think you can still. Can you still command them to go places? I'll put her over. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, that doesn't appear to work anymore. You used to be able to click them around and they would do stuff. And it says she can be used as a manager right now. Oh, her global effect. Okay. So she acts as a magnate. A magnate. I don't know if to be distinguished from a magnet. You don't want magnets up in your iron mines. Definitely kind of lowers the efficiency of getting the job done. And so she's a magnate. Why is she not on... Or is there another a union leader? Yeah, I don't see her on the list. There's a money grubber. Oh, well. I guess the union leader might be nice. So we'll put the union leader in there to make people happier. Increase their job quality by a little bit. And anyways, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerdcastle for another episode of Tropical 5. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. I'm going to hang out and electrify some buildings right now, which I guess you guys probably don't want to see. I'll see you in the next episode. Hi-do, everybody.